Hi there, my name is Natasha Galsadi from Sammy's Photo School, and here's another quick tip in Lightroom Classic how to create masks when you have straight edges. So here I have um, this building and um, uh, obviously this front area is in the shade but I just want to lighten it a little bit and I want to isolate the wall from the door let's just say. So what I'm going to do here is take my brush tool and just so you guys can see I'm going to turn on my show select mask overlay which is down here but if it, this was not checked and you want to check it very quickly hold your uh, O key and the O key will turn it on or turn it off okay so uh, with a small brush I'm going to click once I'm going to hold the shift key click again hold the shift key click again hold the shift key click again and again and you see how easy and quickly I can create straight lines and then it's much easier for me just to kind of fill in this area I don't have to be all that accurate about it oops I kind of overdid it over here so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold my option key which will turn it into an eraser click and maybe I'll take a smaller brush still click once hold the shift key click again and that works for the eraser tool as well click once hold the shift key while holding the option key or alt key on PC and that's how you can clean it up and then fill it in now I'm gonna press on the letter O to remove that red mask so I can see what I'm doing and I can move up the exposure a little bit just enough not too much not to overdo it also i think it's a little too blue there so i'm going to add a little bit of warmth and maybe just open up the shadows just a smidge so there we go so the wall is a little bit lighter i can do the same again uh, for the door so once again i'll click on the new brush and with a much smaller brush i will click once i will hold the shift key click again and see I can't see anything because I didn't press on the letter O now I can hold the shift key click again click again oops click again click again and fill it in and I can make my brush bigger and fill it in and press on the letter O so I can see what I'm doing and once again this time I'm gonna open up my shadows a little bit more don't want to use exposure too much because I think it's going to be a little too strong but I will add a little bit of warmth in there so it's not so blue um, and maybe add a little bit of highlight oh just a little bit more exposure just a tiny bit okay and click on done and here we have it and if you want to see your brush adjustments before and after you can always click on the before and after and this is what we just done so hey I hope this was a helpful quick tip using the brush tool in Lightroom classic uh, leave a comment down below let us know if you enjoyed this tip if you'd like to see other tips and uh, if you would like to join me for Lightroom classes please click on the link below as well and you will see all our classes that are offered online for Lightroom, Photoshop, Capture One, Black and White and Master Print. Um, while you're down there go ahead and subscribe to our channel ring the bell so you will be notified for the next video and I'll say goodbye for now see you next time <laughs>